Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you guys are excited because I am making a house today that is inspired by Star Wars. Um, I personally like like Star Wars and I know I don't I'm not like a, obsessed like a ton of people are with Star Wars, but I do enjoy it as a series and so I'm a little bit excited for the pack like I think it's gonna be cool I know it's not you know ideally what we want but we're gonna make the best of it so I thought I'd make a house that we're gonna use for our playthrough of the Star Wars pack so this is gonna be a Tatooine house style um and I this is like the best thing I could find that I could replicate ish <laughs> it definitely was a struggle because of these stuff you can do in the sims um and like the curving of like roofs and stuff is kind of a pain so this is the first time i've actually worked with curved roofs uh so i think it went okay it did take me a while to kind of get the right look on the outside so i think the outside really took me the longest kind of you guys are seeing it so fast that it's really not that bad but for me <laughs> it took uh let's say hours yesterday and hours today <laughs> um but it was fun it was a fun build and you know i just wanted to have a nice big house well i didn't mean for it to be this big <laughs> i always tend to do that i always tend to make my houses way too big and then i'm like oh god now i have to fill every room uh <laughs> one day i'll learn how to make a house not so big <laughs> but yeah this one was because i was basing it off of a style and I had to make it as big as it was. I did extend it a couple squares even, you, you might have seen, because from what I initially thought, because I needed like a couple more squares for it to look right. And yeah, it's kind of getting there. The roofs are really hard, I will say, but I think in the end it does come together all right. Right now it is kind of funny looking, but I promise. And I did this little trick with the, with the walls. I did like almost a full wall and then like did this border at the top because I couldn't do the frame I wanted around it. So I had to kind of like trick it into thinking it was a room into trick. I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've made it work. It took me a while. Cause at first I was like, how am I going to make this look right? It is impossible, but you just got to keep trying, keep messing with stuff. There are a lot of tricky things to building in this game that make it a little bit, you know, complicated. But luckily, I mean, I've seen people building in older Sims games and thankfully Sims 4 makes it pretty easy considering like I never used to build in other Sims games. The most I would do is like change the floor plan and redecorate, but I would never like build a house, house from scratch. So doing houses from scratch in Sims 4 is a lot of fun for me. And I'm still like learning like I don't I'm not a perfect like perfect at this and I want to get better and I want to get faster. <laughs> Because this took me a really long time. I mean, the floor plan is pretty big. I think we made it into a three bed, two bath with a workout room and a um, office, two offices. Yeah, two offices, a workout room, a nice little music area loft at the top of the stairs. And yeah, it, it's a lot. I will say that. But I, I mean, we're, we're prepping for the Star Wars pack. I know. It's not ideal and it's not perfect, but it is going to be the newest pack. So we're going to make the best of it. Have some fun. I'll be streaming on twitch.tv slash anatlas89 if anyone wants to come see it uh, on Tuesday when it comes out. I'm not watching any videos of like the game changers who have gotten it early. I want to get a first look without any biased opinions <laughs> about it. So yeah, come hang out for that. Also, we're using stream loots cards when I uh, play Sims now which I have a bunch of cards that can give you ways to interact with my game and basically change how my gameplay goes. I was using it first in my Rags to Riches uh, playthrough, which I had some issues recording this year or week, year. I don't know. This year feels this week feels like a year. I don't know. Um, but so I lost to about an hour and a half of the playthrough because the remember when I was streaming, I was saying I had issues. Well, I don't know if you remember because most of you probably weren't there. But when I was streaming, I had issues with my recording because I was locally recording while I streamed. Like the first recording worked fine. The second recording 
ended up uh, kind of disappearing and like freezing. Like my OBS was frozen the whole time, kind of. I was streaming for the last two hours, but I was like, oh, it'll be fine. It'll work. Um, yeah, it, it, it's broken. So I couldn't fix the files. I tried to download them. Twitch was like, oh, they're broken. You know, like they're invalid files or something stupid. I don't know. It was, it was a mess. <laughs> but I will continue on with that playthrough next week or on Sunday, probably. Yeah, actually, yeah, we'll probably stream it on Sunday and put them out next week. And hopefully the recordings will work. I'm not going to do what I did last time, which is locally record. I'll just re-download them via Twitch because technically that did work for me in the past too. I thought it'd be better to locally record, but you know, I guess not. Um, anyways, so for this house build, I had decided uh, to make it, you know, kind of in the Tatooine style. Um, I'm not a huge, like, you know, buff on Star Wars lore or, you know, style or anything. I just kind of looked at some inspiration um and star wars galaxy is where this house is from and the that like i don't remember that game that i i've never played it but it's apparently where this house design is from so i saw a couple videos of people's insides of their house for this game and you know i <laughs> obviously it's really hard to recreate it since we don't have any star wars items yet so I was just kind of going for the stone, the warm wood tones, and uh, just whatever I thought looked right. A lot of reds and oranges. I don't know why. It just kind of felt like that would be more the uh, the style. A little bit of blues and other colors here and there, but definitely nothing like super vibrant. And the walls and the floors, like the walls are what is outside, which I actually end up do changing later, those walls, because I found another one that worked a little bit better. So I did most of the rooms in this other uh, style that you'll see probably halfway through this. Actually, very soon. I think this was the first night still. And then soon I switch over. Once I do the next bedroom, it, it'll be today. So you'll see all this. Uh, yeah. So see how the walls change? And there's like these brick walls, kind of like stone brick walls, sandstone walls. I don't know. I thought those looked better. And on the outside, it does look better too. Instead of just like the dirt um, thing that I had before, so I used it on the uh, certain parts of the house. Not every wall, but a lot of the walls. Um, so my goal this in this house was not to do any different floors, any di different walls, keep it to that sandstone look, because that's kind of what those houses look like. Um, so I had to, you know, use the colors that I could without making it clash and without making it look too weird, trying to use some spacey, um, you know, objects and m materials and stuff, which was kind of hard. <laughs> it did take me a while to figure out decorations for each room. And I am a very slow builder, so <laughs> I'm indecisive. I'll put like 50 things down before I decide what I want to use, right? You guys can see that. So yeah, it's a whole thing. Uh, we're doing the bathroom. I did two bedrooms that tie into this bathroom. So I thought it was a different layout and something I've kind of wanted to try before but I never have done yet. So it's got three doors. I know it's like a lot of doors for a bathroom, but I've seen it. I've seen it in real houses. Okay, it's a thing where you have like the two bedrooms on both sides and then like anyone can come in through the main door. So yeah, simple. Like I don't tend to clutter too much. I do add little bits of stuff here and there. I did want to keep it more on the simple side for this house because it was so big and because we're getting Star Wars stuff. So I'd like to still have room to be able to switch stuff out easily and add the Star Wars build items to this build. So even after this is done and after we do a playthrough uh, using this house, I'm probably gonna do an update where I remodel this house with the Star Wars pack. So hopefully you guys will like that. I don't know. Um, I think it's pretty cool of an idea. And this is a bigger house than we're gonna need for our Sim, but you know, I I went with it. I was like, I'm just throwing these rooms in here. Another little bedroom for like young adult or something. Teen. I don't know. I don't want to have any kids. <laughs> so yeah, this was the, the, the cutest little room with a little bit of pinks, but nothing too over the top vibrant throughout the whole house. And yeah, just ugh, my gosh. This was a lot. Like, I thought this would be a little easier, but no, I, I, I challenged myself a lot with my builds. I need to make smaller builds. I think I'm going to do some tiny build challenges soon because I'm like, 
every build I've done lately has been really large and I just get exhausted and I feel like I can I don't decorate as well sometimes because I get tired of decorating <laughs> so if I do a smaller build maybe I'll be able to do a better job on the uh, on the decorating as a whole so we'll see <laughs> or maybe not maybe that's just how I am it's fine so just adding all these different things I found these stone wall thing panels which look kind of cool a lot of like jungle adventure stuff kind of fit in the vibes I was looking for so you'll see some of that throughout I I was trying to set myself to only a couple packs but then I got bored <laughs> so I just started using whatever I really could <laughs> and yeah so I don't know how many packs are in the in the house quite a few I'm sorry if you want to download it I will upload it to the gallery I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet uh, but you can find me under Pirate Queen Anna on uh, EA gallery make sure you follow me over there if you like what I've been doing because I'm definitely growing as a as a builder and as a creator of Sims content and this is just like a really fun path for me I'm really excited that we're doing this the community is really awesome with Sims and I'm just happy to be a part of it like before I would be a part like kind of like the CC community a little bit but I kind of kept to myself more with Sims but now I kind of have actually branched out a little bit. I've been watching a lot of really cool simmers like Vixella, um, you know, Little Simsy. We got uh, a few smaller ones. Aveline, um, Eleandra, Eleandra, I don't remember how to say it. There's a lot of them out there. A lot of them. Uh, there's another smaller one too, Lois Ann. She's really nice. I, I, I binge a lot of their, their stuff and I look forward to the new videos they do every day. It's kind of while I'm working um, for Streamlets during the day, I end up watching a lot of YouTube builds and videos and it's very inspiring. So I don't know. So thank you guys to all the, the simmers out there that have been creating content for so long that have inspired me to, you know, continue this path again as well. Because this is new, new to me, but I love decorating in Sims 3. So, you know, like I always like the decorating part. The building part has always been a struggle for me but I feel like I'm getting better at it. I don't know. So I just, yeah, I'm just doing as much as I can. You know, look at all these cool rugs. I love these patterns. I don't know, I was trying to make it fun, you know, not not super just brown and orange and that's it, but definitely a lot of brown and orange tones throughout the house. Bottom floor I think is almost done because yeah, there's a lot. There was a lot. I did put torches and stuff around because I did see in Star Wars Galaxy that they had uh, regular torches in their house throughout for lighting. And I, I didn't see much other lighting, but I didn't want to only use torches in this house. So I did use other uh, types of lighting that I thought kind of fit and didn't detract from the decor as a whole, you know? I don't know what we're doing. So yeah, tell me, what's your thoughts about the Star Wars pack? Are you actually going to be picking it up? Are you waiting to watch YouTubers play it? um streamers all that before deciding let me know in the comments because i just you know i'm doing it because of content if i wasn't streaming i might not pick it up right away i might wait till a deal you know that's kind of my my thing but because i want to be relevant and make content uh when things are new and fresh and exciting then you know i kind of kind of gotta do it gotta invest right <laughs> it's fine i still am missing a ton of stuff packs and uh, game packs. I only have, I have almost, I have every, but one expansion. I think, uh, get to work, get together, get to work. I don't remember, one of those. <laughs> um, I have most of it. So up here, we just did a little like landing loft area with like some music, a uh, piano, guitar, a little lounge area, and then just a bunch of decorations. I did discover putting plants, using the pots from um, Jungle Adventures and then putting plants and resizing them and fitting them in those empty pots. I don't know, does anyone else do that? Cause I think it looks really nice. So I did that quite a bit in this house. I don't know why, I just thought this looks cool. Maybe it kind of fits the style. <laughs> um, yeah. And then out here, I just decided to make like a skill patio. So I put a few things that were skill building related. You can switch them out if you like. This house is not cheap. I'll tell you that. I think it's like 150,000. So, you yeah, know. Um <laughs> but it's it's got good bones, okay? If you're rich, it's worth it. 
I don't know, I just put random things out there. I did do a workout room because I did no idea what to make this room into. I was like, um, what have I not used like in this whole house? I didn't want to just make another bedroom because we already have three of them, you know? Ugh. So three bed, two bath is the final verdict of this house. But yeah, I think the workout room turned out okay. Nothing crazy. I did shrink it, yeah, a little bit smaller and change the layout here and decided to turn this room into like an office. Because I was like, well, we have an office downstairs, but we probably need another computer, right? If we have friends come over, whatever, we need like another office room. So I'm thinking this is more um, my office and downstairs kind of like the shared one that anyone can use. So that's kind of my idea here, I guess. Um, yeah, just trying to make things look nice without going too crazy with the styles was kind of hard because I usually love like vibrant colors. So this was definitely a challenge for me because a lot of the stuff I wanted to use was like too bright or too, too dark. I usually go for darker colors too. So like medium warm browns have been like out of my comfort zone. So matching stuff to it. And then also I did some white and grays, you know, like kind of like stone, I guess I was going for, but there's not a lot of like stone items per se, like building you know, things. There's not any like shelves or many things made out of stone. So you kind of went with gray because I was like, oh, gray is stone, right? Right. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, this office room is, you know, it's simple. It gets the job done. It fills the space better than I had initially had the floor plan set. I did not like the hallway I had put. Then I did a little bedroom, which I'm actually think is quite cute. Um, a little bit of light green in this room. I think gave it a little bit more color and made it more interesting than some of the other ones. So yeah, I don't know. This was this was a good time. It was a fun build to do. And uh, I'm glad that we <laughs> I decided to do this because I was really nervous on like what I was going to do to prep for Star Wars or like content wise. But then I realized, you know what? Why don't I just try to recreate a house? I love recreating houses like doing floor plans or like, you know, trying to make a different a house in real life in The Sims and then decorate it to my heart's content. Um, so I think this kind of, you know, did that. <laughs> and it turned out OK. Like I was really nervous at first because it was so hard to figure out the outside. And then once I got inside, I was worried because I had so much space to fill. But we did it. <laughs> it just I had to be patient. I split into two days. And we did it and here we are and we're almost done I think with the build I think we have like a minute and a half left so oh yeah bathroom I totally forgot about this bathroom this is only the second bathroom in the house I kind of had wished I added a second uh, or one more half bath because I have two full bathrooms and three bedrooms but maybe a half bath would have been nice I just didn't really think of where to put it in the build and by the time I realized I might want it, I had already built most stuff. So I was like, well, we're just going to live with two bathrooms. <laughs> a little a little on the small side for how big the house is, bathroom wise. But they get a nice tub, OK? You know, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, guys, I think we're coming up to screenshots here very soon. Uh, let me know what you think about Star Wars, what your plans are for Star Wars. If you're going to be creating content, let me know. I'd love to see. Tag me in any videos. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of excited with that I completed this. I'm excited I got this done because it took me forever. <laughs> I, and then I added lighting outside here on the patio. It was really hard to build in this mode. I had to use, I had to use uh, nighttime was the best time to build because there's no windows. So it was dark. It was dark inside during the day. <laughs> so you'll see that I, I used nighttime a lot when I was building this which worked. Then I added some uh, lot traits, I think geothermal, homey and uh, chef's kitchen or something, because I know my girl's going to be a chef. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in another video.